Usually whenever we talk about a game to someone, we talk about its strong points like its unique mechanics, its content, and its overall gameplay. And in Final Fantasy XIV's case, that would be the story, the raids, the trials, and its overall sense of community that emphasizes these parts of the game that make it very compelling to pay and maintain a monthly sub for. However, one of the most overlooked pieces of content in the game, by far, is also one of the least talked about in the community. And for good reason too. Now fates are a bunch of dynamic scenarios scattered around the Orzia sphere. So these fates tend to involve escort missions, battles, yeah, battles, and my will to live. They're public events. That's all they really are. The only reason why people do public events in Destiny 2 is because everyone's bored and they got bounties to check off. FF14 doesn't have anything tied to fates aside from some side quests, maybe a little bit of lore building, but they're very inconsequential. You can easily ignore the fact that these exist. Even with Shadowbringers, the only reason why you would ever do fates is to get gems to buy mount speed for each area. So unless if you really want a cell phone holder in your house, there's no point in grinding them. However, there are some fates that are legitimately worth looking out for. And I'm talking about boss fates. I'm talking about Behemoth. I'm talking about Odin, Ixion, Archeotanya, Formidable, that fox dude, that one curled boss from Heavensward that takes three fates to kill it. Unlike regular fates, these boss fates don't pop up on the map. You gotta go find the dude, then get the entire data center to come to the dude, and then someone decides to pull early and everyone's just wailing on it with their great parts DPS and we gotta keep rezzing them cause oh my god they keep dying to the same mechanic over and over and now the dude's HP reset it cause nobody's tanking? These fates take a large chunk of your time completing them, but they are worth doing. Giving you currency you can turn in for glams, furniture, or even a mount to show off. Letting people know that you know life this game a little bit more than them. These boss fates also make the world a little bit more livelier, encouraging people to group up and take part in the playing of the video game instead of just sitting around Limsa ERPing. So in short, they're pretty cool. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. In fact, I wanted to talk about fates for a completely different reason. And also, I don't know how to do a bait and switch, so... It was around July, just running around Carithus, doing my MSQs when I see a shout pop up. A group of people wanted some help beating the Cyclops, so out of a whim, and also because I had nothing better to do, I came and helped out. After beating the boss, one of them decided to hit me up with an invite to their free company. Yeah, that's, that's literally it. That's the whole reason why this video exists. You can tab out now. Of course, this has happened before in other games, and I definitely met or hung out with friends there that I still occasionally talk to this day, and I owe these guys quite a bit for shaping me who I am as a person. It's just that I recorded so much FF14 that it's eating up my hard drive and I want a reason to make a video for once. This fate indirectly brought me to these guys that I grew to like and care for and eventually become emotionally attached to. I got to hang out with them, chat with them, and know them better through FF14. And a lot of my fond memories with the game have been with them going through my MSQs, unlocking raids, buying a house, moving our FC to a medium house, uh, decorating. It sucks that we're in the middle of a content drought since logging in the game was how I usually hang out with them, which meant that I don't see them that often anymore. And being this emotionally attached to them kind of sucks too since it's starting to feel like I'm drifting apart from them. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy being with them and want to continue hanging out with them. It's just that for me, as a pretty antisocial guy, meeting and being a part of such a tight-knit group in a game no less means a lot to me. And now that I'm aware that this was something I was looking for the entire time, it makes me feel sad knowing that I won't be seeing them as often as I used to. And sure, we got Discord, we sometimes do dailies, we complain about people using job boosts, or really just people in Siren. We play other games together, but 
it's just not the same thing as doing treasure maps with the gang or running extreme trials with the gang or going through unsynced coil bahamut with the gang emphasis on unsynced dude by the way uh, God. we got busy over time work started ramping up for some of us maybe i changed maybe they changed it didn't matter what it was all i knew for sure was that we moved on and while I know that it's understandable, that you know, it's fair considering how stagnant playing FF14 has become, and, you know, hey, get, life gets the best of us too, it's just that I got so used to this whole routine of logging in, expecting to be with them, that I never considered that it could at some point end. And now that we're at this point in time where we're all kind of doing our own thing, I can't help feel like maybe I've grown too attached to them to the point that I've been having these feelings of withdrawal for the past month or so. Uh, I don't know, I guess this is just my way of saying that I like my FC, I miss them, and because of that this Cyclops fate has a very special place in my heart, as dumb as that sounds. It took me this long to realize that I didn't just play PSO2 and FF14 because they were good enough games to keep me hooked. I played them because there was something to look forward to, people to look forward to. And it's kind of embarrassing to say, but these guys do mean a lot to me, whether they know that or not. And whether or not they were just sheer coincidences that I happened to stumble onto them. I'm glad I met my team in that one Vita block in PSO2, and I'm glad I met my FC in that Cyclops fate in FF14.